Welcome back, beautiful beings. Today, we're going to be playing with Paper Studio. And it's from Hobby Lobby. And it says 2022. And it has all these die cut embellishments, which I'm going to show you. I'll do a close up. I'll lay them all down. I'll do a close up, and you get die cuts, 50 designs, two each, so you get 100 pieces. All the stickers are basically vintage. So we got vintage scale, pocket watch, globe, shoes, hat, and a phone. And a bike, silverware, and a key. And of course our vintage perfume bottles. Here we have vintage metal wire form dress mannequins. instant camera and a feather and then an old-fashioned camera <laughs> and a hot air balloon then we got key and we got the old-fashioned pen that the hands writing with and of course thread in pens and we got the violin another key and this house would be awesome for Halloween, and that's what I'm going to use it for. There's two of them, so I'll be using these for my Halloween. Typewriter, scissors, then there's a bird cage, then a queen's crown, and then a pocket watch. More keys. Then a shoe. <laughs> I remember my mom wearing those shoes. And a vintage music box. And we have a chair. And then we have carved wood molding. Suitcase, hot air balloon, and that probably could be either a frame or a mirror, but I think it's a mirror. I think it's a vintage mirror. In the front of an old building, and an original old antique bike. Imagine riding that, beautiful beings. <laughs> old car and then a woman and then an airplane sewing machine that you had to turn by hand <laughs> imagine that another one with a turn wheel on it and a clock set on the mantle then we have a tuba and some old vintage fountain pens. Okay, beautiful beings. I'm going to show you this one. This one. These both come out. Okay. And you get two of every die cut. Okay. These are frames. And then this comes out. I don't know what you'd use this for afterwards, but these come out. Okay. of that or you can just leave them in the frame and use them like that okay that's what they're supposed to come out because I counted 48 or 40 48 and I think that'd be 49 the suitcase okay and then I want to show you this and this would be 50 this guy and hit the same thing or you can just keep the frame like that and there's two frames they do stick together well so if you think you only got one look again because <laughs> you got two okay so you get frames I think these are pretty much garbage unless you wanted to take your exacto knife and go in there and try to cut that out which would be doable 
Or you can use this. You can use that for something and put something underneath it. Wherever your imagination takes you, beautiful beings. Okay, now that we got all the stickers out of the way, or all the embellishments out of the way, these are all paper scraps that I've had. Some I've had for a long, long time, and I just want to be done with them already. So we're going to use them up. I have strips that I colored. You might have seen them in a previous video that I did not use. Okay, I just took some lace, and I sewed it there. I sewed it there. Okay. Just hold it down. Some of them I have to re sew. Or I have to sew the bottom. The top. Or the. I have to sew. <laughs> I have to sew the bottom because I sewed the top. Here's another piece of the same material that I just colored. And these are like, I don't know, 10 years old. It's when I was playing with coloring paper and all that. And I sewed that lace to that one. This one. I just put it on a piece of scrap, okay, and I have to sew the bottom on this, so I'm going to set that aside so I remember to do that, and this one, piece of scrap I colored again, same time I colored them, and then I have to sew this at the bottom, but I sewed it at the top, I just wanted to show you the papers underneath before I did all that, and same paper as those. I just added a piece of scrap and sewed the top. Okay. And we're going to make big embellishments with these. Good way to use up your scrap lace and scrap papers. This one, I went through the embossing with the tree. And all I did was sew some lace, a piece of scrap of lace down it. So that one's already sewed. This one is too. Same thing. Embossed scrap piece for the tree, then I sewed here, well I hand sewed this one, did a couple stitches on the top and the bottom, just to keep that from moving, I cut it off this piece, okay, because I didn't want it on there, so I said I might as well use it, and I put it on this piece of scrap, okay, and I have this piece of scrap, I just sewed across, it's just mesh, all it is and it's what it looks like underneath just coffee dyed piece of cardstock okay and then the piece that I took the, this piece off of here again that paper I just got to get rid of it beings it's been floating around for years <laughs> so I'm finally gonna use it I just sewed the top now I'm gonna sew the bottom and then the same with this piece colored this one. Looks like there's greens and blues in there. And then I stamped it up with some music notes. But we're going to cover it up. I sewed it up here. And then I'm going to sew it on the bottom with this piece of scrap lace. Okay. And then I have another, yet yeah, another piece of this. <laughs> okay, it's just a little piece of scrap. So all I did was sew, hand sew that there. And I need to do the bottom. Okay. And then two pieces of these scraps I put through my tree embossing folder and ran it through my Sizzix. There, now we got everything out of the way. Let's get started, beautiful beings. Okay, beautiful beings. I hope you can hear me all right. I'm going to try to speak up. I got my brand new Cozy Co Z Co C O dash Z. Distiller, water distiller in the mail today. <laughs> so I got that going and I can't wait. Get purified water, beautiful beings. I'll let you know, if not in this, probably in the next video, how that water tastes. I'm pretty psyched about that. Nice, fresh, clean water, beautiful beings. And it was only, it was like $106 maybe, maybe $104, it wasn't that much. Alright, I got the perfume bottle, and I think I put glue on the wrong spot. I want it like right there, so you can see the flower pattern. So I probably did put glue where I shouldn't have. 
Hey beautiful beings, it's pretty much self-explanatory, so I'm going to play some music I never get to play because it's too loud and it overrides my voice. And I'm limited on my music on my app, so hopefully you like it. <laughs> if you don't, just mute it. <laughs> but I'll be using one or more of the Paper Studio die cuts on each embellishment. And then I'll be using my die cuts, like my tabs, and these little long embellishments that I have and I do have several other die cuts that I will be using so enjoy beautiful beings don't worry I'll talk once in a while <laughs>
On this one, I'm going to put this chair down and I'm going to put our music notes, papers that we made with a stamp in a different video. And I just folded over some paper bag and glued it together and then stuck this on top because it was a little too thin for me. And I used Memento marker, which I love. I love this end and I just went around the edges with it. I don't really use this side at all. <laughs> And I want to point out this piece of scrap is not totally straight, but that's okay, beautiful beings. You can still use it. And here I'm just going to add a little glue behind the lace because it keeps flipping over. I should have sewed it up there, but I didn't. And then I have a teacup and a saucer I'm going to glue up there.
Okay, beautiful beings, before I glue down the clock, I want to add some chains to the bird cages and then a piece of fabric to the clock. Okay, I have an X Acto knife. I want to cut out the white on top of the clock. I also have these chains I want to add to the bird cages. And here's the puncher, it's a really small whole one. Perfect for the top of the bird cage. Punch a hole to put the chain through. And I didn't tell you that I didn't glue down the bird cages. The top, just the top, the very top, just for this reason. So I could punch the hole and add the chains. I planned on doing this to begin with, but I forgot to punch the hole before I glued it down and then I didn't remember I wanted to add chains until it was already down. Okay, beautiful beings. And the puncher did not want to let go of the paper, so I did have to use this little tool from Dollar Tree to get it out.
There, I did it. Beautiful beings without screwing it up. Now I'm just going to take a memento marker and get that white out of there and make it look finished. Okay, now I'm going to take this 100% cotton velvet trim with fray edges from Hobby Lobby. Okay, now I'm going to cut out a real thin piece just to go on the pocket watch. And as you can see, it does fray a lot, so make sure you fray it after you cut it, because it does make a mess. Okay, beautiful beings. I did not like this look beautiful beings it was too chubby so I cut a thinner longer piece this way it can fall wherever it wants I'm just gonna glue the inside to the back and front and then It'll be able to fall wherever it wants or you can even adjust it if you want and I'm going to just leave it like that for now and then glue down the clock but not the top that way it can be adjusted whatever way they want it okay beautiful things You're sick of my madness Don't you tell me what I supposed to do You're better off without me Don't you tell me what I supposed to do When I'm walking down the streets half naked It's part of me, it's part of me When I'm making my brain make out It's part of me, it's part of me When you're crushing all my dreams and you're making me so fool Get out of my life I know what I I know what I'm supposed to do and the leaf won't fit as I like, so I'm going to move the pocket watch up a little bit. And I decide I'm going to let this dry, and then we can move this wherever we want it. Even tuck that piece behind there if we want it. So we'll let this dry and then play with that when it's done. Now we're going to bring in the hot air balloons. And I want to put something in that slit on the little tag up there. And I figured, well, we already got the felled out, so I might as well put some felled in there. So that's what I'm going to do, beautiful beings. I'm just going to cut it down so it's thinner. And I almost forgot to fray it, beautiful beings. I know what I 
I'm supposed to do When you're crushing all my dreams and you're making me so fool I know what I, I know what I'm supposed to do And I'm going to let that dry and then I'm going to tie it. I know what I'm supposed to do. This one's going to be simple, this piece of cardstock. And then I have music notes that I glued down to paper bag again just to make it stiffer. And then a violin. Then we have our still dressed mannequin. Then I decided I wanted to put pearls down beside our little picture up here. And just so you know, if you have little punchers, you can use them as tabs if you don't have die cuts that are tabs, okay? So that's all I'm using here, is I got two circles, and I'm going to use them as a tab. I'm going to glue them together. So if you have a little heart one, a little square one, whatever you have, beautiful things, you can use it for a tab. So just to note, beautiful beings, if you have small punchers, no matter what shape they are, you can use them as tabs.
a glimpse into a sewing room. Beautiful beings. Here I have a die cut and I want it tucked in a little bit and I want the camera on top of it. And another tab, beautiful beings. <laughs> I have a whole bunch of these different kinds of tabs because like that was like the first die cuts I got. So I was like die cutting all kinds of different cardstock designs, colors. <laughs> so I need to use them up, beautiful beings. And some of the cardstock I cut these out of was real thin, so as you can see, I did glue them to thin cardboard. And this is a die cut and these long ones I've been using they were on a front cover of one of my card stocks I bought like one of the first ones I ever bought so I cut them all out and I said I can use these and that's where those are all from I'm kind of glad I'm just talking over this beautiful beings because we keep getting more noises in the background. <laughs> now my neighbor's mowing their lawn and somebody beside me on the other side's weed whacking. I'm surprised the cat's not out here meowing too to go with the distilling noise in the background. <laughs> She's probably on the sun porch. She loves the sun porch. It's nice and sunny today but she gets in my plants and it looks like she's like just licking the leaves that are growing up. I'm not sure what that's about, but I think it's kind of weird because I didn't like just spray water on them or anything, but she'll go and like lick the leaves. <laughs> so I don't know. Vegetarian dinner, but I thought they were carnivores. I don't know. But anyway, that's what's going on in my house. <laughs> I just hope she don't start knocking my plants over. She's not, she's going to be grounded from this on porch. And I have this little card to stick in the typewriter. I just wish it said enjoy your life, but it says enjoy your day. So it's going to have to do. And we have this one and it's a long one. So I'm going to have to zoom you out. And this one, as you can see, is about a dressmaker. Before I do these, I want to show you this. I have this. This is a die cut. It's like a paper clip or like a bookmark you can use. But I forgot to put pearls on it. I'll show you. I have this piece of scrap I'm getting for you so I can show it to you. And you just clip it on just like that. Okay. Or this way 
it's pretty it's pretty nifty i have a whole bunch of these so i gotta start using these up gotta use up those die cuts that you die cut beautiful beings <laughs> so i'm gonna end up putting pearls i think on this So I decided I'm going to put four pearls on it because this way they can take it off and move it wherever they want. They can even move it somewhere else in their journal. But i got to figure out where I'm going to move everything now. I decided I was going to put the thread in the pins over more. That way our die cut paper clip can fit. Now we're going to put pearls on it. And I'm going to put a good enough amount of glue on there so the pearls don't fall off. So when they're clipping this on and off of things, they don't fall off. And then I have one more to show you that I forgot about after this. Okay, beautiful beings, I have this small one. All it is is a sticker that I glued down onto a piece of coffee dyed cardstock. So I'm going to glue that underneath the mesh. Then I'm going to adjust the mesh where I want it, and we're going to stick our perfume bottle right on the side of it. Easy peasy, beautiful beings. And then when everything is dry, I will be back, and I will give you a close-up and the story of each embellishment. So I'm going to adjust the mesh where I want it, and stick that on there, just like that. And I'll probably stitch across the bottom of the mesh. Okay, beautiful beings. Okay, beautiful things. Got this. I tucked it back there because I like that look and it's kind of glued a little bit. But here's this. Let me give you a close up because there's so many of them. And I hope you enjoyed the video and got lots of ideas. Just explore. Got his pocket watch and he's going out into the forest and exploring it. Because it makes him relaxed and he likes seeing all the birds and the trees and insects and the leaves. 
and all the good things you find in the forest. Try to tie it. Let's try tying it and see what that looks like. It's still fraying. <laughs> it's still fraying, beautiful beings. Let's see. I'll probably just untie it and put it back the way it was and cut it down. I don't know. That's probably what I'll do, beautiful beings. I don't know if we'll be able to get that or not. But there it is tied. And there's a map, as you can see. And they're spending the day hot air blooming. They're going all over the place. Just having fun being up in the air and looking down and seeing all the beauty. I have this old fashioned, it looks like an old fashioned safety pin to me. Okay. And I just put some beads on it. I made these a while back off camera. And I'm just going to clip it in here. Remember, I said that looks like it needs something. So I'm just going to clip it right there. And pull it out a little bit, maybe. Probably not. Oh, but I'm leaving it there because I like it. And she's getting ready for a night out. She's got her perfume, her pearls, and she's getting ready to go and have lots and lots of fun. Okay, she's probably going to a club, old fashioned club, where they sing and have little bands. One man bands, two man bands, or three man bands. <laughs> Something like that, beautiful beings. Here is a house party. And they're listening to music and they're dancing. Just dancing in the house, having a little get together, having a house party. Then our sewing room where she makes her dresses. Close up. Focus camera, there we go. We have a lady or a gentleman. Some guys like tea, but they're sitting in a room with lace curtains, sitting in her chair, listening to music, and having a cup of tea. Then we have this one. She's getting her photo taken. She's posing for a photo. She wants to give to her mother for Mother's Day because Mother's Day is coming up. <laughs> and here's one of our bird cages. We'll say a dining room. It's by the curtain. It's got its chain on it. And it moves wherever you want it to. Okay. Wherever you want it to. Just left it loose. Just glued it up here. And I did put extra glue behind there. Then we have our typewriter. Women writer. And it says, as given in this book, old style, M. Mithamore. Okay. There's a half picture of her. We'll just say that's her. And she wrote her book on the left. And she has another book here. Or it could be just a picture on the wall. Whatever your imagination wants. And she's writing, enjoy your day. With her lace curtain in the background. Stitch it on the bottom when we put the sticker in and the perfume on the side. And I can't really see what that perfume bottle says. No. Here's this one. Popular Music Weekly. Okay. 
and they're having a concert and there's one of the violins it's going to be in the concert that they're all going to okay there's a close up popular music weekly or that could just be a room in a violin against the wall <laughs> we have this bird cage this one was really simple chain and an embellishment at the top and the mesh underneath and this one is huge okay this is a dressmaker's room or studio probably more of a studio let's give her a studio so she has more room close up of everything the detail and the die cuts and here's this put the pearls on okay and it can either go like this or it can go like that and I'm gonna put it like that then if they want to move it they can okay beautiful beings I hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching have a wonderful everything